Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're diving into the world of document management and setting up Paperless NGX on a Ubuntu server using Docker. Paperless NGX is a fantastic tool that will help you manage and archive your digital documents. Along with Paperless NGX, we're going to install Samba and create a share folder that users can use to import their documents inside Paperless NGX. So let's get to it. First, let's get connected to my test server. And the first thing we need to do is make sure everything is up to date. And then we can upgrade everything as well. And we will be using Docker Compose, so be sure that we have Docker Compose installed. And now that we have everything we need, Let's switch over to the directory we're going to be storing our container into. And then we just need to make a directory for the container. Then we're going to change into that directory. And while we're in here, we need to make another directory. We'll just call it consume. This will be our share folder later that we're going to share through Samba. And now using the curl commands in the description below, we can download the necessary files needed to uh, launch the container. And the last command is just a move command. It's going to rename our docker compose file. Now that we have all of our files, let's edit the docker compose file. And if we scroll down to the DB section, the DB container here. We can adjust the password to be whatever you'd like, so it's not this default uh, paperless. You can adjust the root password if you ever need to go into the Maria database for whatever reason. You have the, both of these passwords. We can leave the username as paperless. Adjust the port to something that you know is available. If you have Portainer installed on the same box here, you won't be able to use 8000 because Portainer uses 8000. So we're going to adjust that, we'll make mine 8005, and then scroll on down, and just be sure that the database, if you had updated the database password, that it matches a web server container here as well. This is the database password, not the root password. And the last thing we need to adjust is the consume folder here, and mine was just in slash docker slash paperless dash ngx slash consume now that we've made our changes go ahead and control x y to save enter to overwrite the file now we just need to make sure that our user id and group id match the docker compose environment file which is by default set to a thousand so just type in id and this should tell you your group id and uid which is both mine are both a thousand here so i'm good to go now we just need to pull the images so we can use docker Compose, pull. And this is gonna pull down all the images we need. Now that we have our necessary images, we need to create a super user in the web server container. So using the Docker Compose run, I'll leave all of these commands in the description below, but docker compose run dash dash rm. This is just going to remove the container once we're done creating the super user and it's create, running the super user. I believe that's a Python script that it runs inside the uh, container. You may get this connection refused for a second. You just have to wait for the container to spin up. Okay, go ahead and enter a username here, or you can just uh, hit enter to use paperless as the default. And enter your email address. And then the password, it's a minimum of eight characters. It's uh, complaining that I used an easy password, but for testing purposes, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell it yes to bypass this. And we've created our user. Now all we have to do is spin up our containers with docker compose up dash d and once you see the done there we should be able to browse over to it open up your web browser 
and let's go to our test server. I was on 8,005. And there it is. Using the super user you just created, go ahead and log in. And there we go, we're inside Paperless. If you need more information on it, feel free to take the tour here to get more familiar with the application. Let's move on to installing Samba and share in the folder. Okay, back over to our command line. First thing we need to do is make sure you have Samba installed, which is the sudo apt install Samba. I already have it installed, so there's nothing for me to install, but after you have it installed, let's confirm that it's running, checking the service. And we can see right here that it is running. Now let's create a new user that we'll use for the shared drive or the shared folder. We're just going to name this user paperless. And our password for all of these next values, you can just hit enter and leave all of it blank and then tell it yes, the information is correct. And then that's it. Now that we've created our user, we need to add it to Samba. Just sudo smb pass wd a and the user, which is paperless. And then we need to create a Samba password. And that's what you'll use to access the share using the paperless user. Now we can use the set facul command to set the permissions necessary. I would copy the command out of the description below, paste it into here, and then this at the end here, you just need to put the path to your consumption folder. And we can get that by going to the folder and type in pwd for print working directory, or if you just remembered what it was. And then we just need to run this command. If you get this error, command not found, we just need to install it. It's just install ACL. sudo apt get install ACL. And now that we've installed the ACL, let's just rerun the command. And it doesn't return anything, so if you just get a blank return, then it should have gone through. And now we just need to share the consumption folder. So we need to uh, edit the SMB comp file. And scroll to the bottom. Copy the example from the description I have. Paste it into your notepad. And then just modify the path to your consumption folder. Be sure that the valid user is the user that you created earlier. Once we have this, go ahead and copy it. And we can paste this into the SMB comp file. Control X to save. Oh, sorry, Control X to exit. Yes to save. Enter to overwrite the file. And now if we browse over to our test server. There's our share drive that we created. If you try and open it up, it should prompt you for a password. And this is going to be the Samba password you created. I have a bunch of temp documents here. And what we're going to do is take these temp documents and we're going to dump them into the share drive we just created. And if you give it a second, you'll watch these files disappear. And if you come over to paperless, you will see that the dashboard is consuming the files over here on the right. So any user on the network can just drop a file into this folder and paperless will pick it up and catalog it into the database. And as it catalogs them, it will be removed from the share drive. And then if you jump back over to paperless, we can go in the documents here and we can see the documents have been imported and you can view them and that's it. If you found this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.